famous people are so disconnected and I don't want to just judge famous people or whatever, but I think now, like it's just so obvious how disconnected from society people are. And then it gets, now everything gets publicized. Like anything gets released. It's like the whole world or the country gets to be like, look what you did when in the, this stuff's been going on forever. We just never knew about it. Right. Yeah. The people that we supposedly well, and it's not just look the, up to. It's not just the famous people. I think you categorize the famous people as part of the 1% because once you get enough fame, you're getting enough money, money. and enough tension that you can continue to get enough money and enough tension for the rest of your life. Right. And then you're part of the 1%. But then you start living these lives for your, you, some people like the actors in that 70 show, their whole lives have been wealth yeah. and fame. And you start to get so jaded, like watching, uh, we'll probably talk about it a little bit, but Oprah and uh, Dwayne and The Rock Johnson, they just had, they're having their blow up too. And there's a lot of cancellations We'll just bring happening. that up. We'll bring that one up next. Um, but what I was getting at is that these, the 1% is like being blinded to the real issues at hand or like, oh, I only raped them 20 years ago. Yeah. Like, guys, come on. Like, be easy on me. Is that fame and money only? Or is that like ridiculously terrible white male it's probably a mixture culture. of both. Toxic, to- toxic masculinity. Um, but I think it's like well, power. I think it's like power wealth culture. It's like addiction to power. Mm-hmm. Um, how can someone like that, that did that 20 years ago and goes through an entire show in a massive career. The crazy thing about this situation about him, Danny Matherson's character is all of us. I'm going to, we loved that character. Yeah. And he was like the creepy older guy yeah. who like brought the weed and like yeah. hooked everybody up. And in real life, that's who he was. Yeah. He was like the creepy older guy that like helped teach everybody the ways of like- Of weed. Of, and real, of yeah. fame and, and power. And like, so they would always, like, it's creepy if you looked, like, it's so, it was so fun and creepy to look into the history of like real Ashton Kutcher and like Mila Kunis. Did you know that Mila Kunis was 14 years old yeah, on 14, that show? 14. Do you know that- the writers forced her to kiss every male person, like male actor on that show. They put it in writing that she has kissed and made out with every single, mm-hmm. because they wanted her to be kind of the, yeah. Right. She did like, in interviews of this 14 years old, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah. The whole time. I don't think she was legal. And Ashton Kutcher's an adult. Yeah. During from all of the this start. And then he married her. Mm-hmm. There's a term for this. It's called grooming. Mm. I uh, I was like pretty much what's was like for me, and I think for a lot of us that were like huge that '70s show fan, right? That '70s show was when it stopped airing. I would watch it at night to fall asleep. Totally, it's like The Office, like yeah. a bedtime story. It's so totally. good. Totally, such a good show, and had no idea that the, that like Mila Kunis was that young. <sighs> I had no idea. No, not that young, no. So much normalization and mm-hmm. hidden stuff and like, yeah. And so it was, that was a, that was a really hard one for me. Yeah. I know that Ashton Kutcher is Ashton Kutcher. He like did um, those prank shows. Punked. Punked. Yeah. Yeah. There was that video that was circling around the internet. With the Lizzie McGuire one? No, the Hillary Duff. Yeah. And Lizzie McGuire. And Liz, did he talk about Lizzie McGuire? He's like, we're gonna punk, maybe we're, we're gonna Liz, punk Liz McGuire. She's like the Hillary Duff and the Olsen twins. You know, we're all waiting for them to be eighteen. Yeah. It's it's like Me Too is so real. It's yeah. like Yeah, there's just so much that's come out where you're like, that was what the early two thousands were. The yeah. early two thousands were TV shows where we you watch MTV or something and you wouldn't even think twice about it. Yeah. And now it's like, that was our Yeah. That's what we watched. That's weird, dude. So feel you feel like guilty, mm-hmm. like it's your fault for like contributing to the culture. Mm-hmm. But then you realize like all like the whole Britney Spears shit. It's just like all of us just watched this, yeah. Over, like and nobody really did anything. Mm-mm. Now that we're something's done, you're like, oh yeah. Why didn't we do anything sooner? Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. Um, that, that was a big one, and I. I have so what's th- your what's your opinion on it? To throw your opinion out there on the uh, on Mila what? Kunis and Austin Kutcher. My opinion is simple. Um, if you support rapists, you gotta go. Yeah, I mean, if you have a lot of money and power, and you're friends with somebody, like all of us have. I don't want to say I want to generalize. I have had friends that I've loved, mm-hmm. and then you grow up and you f- you hear of them doing things where you're like, they did that. Yeah. No, and you immediately want to be like, no, no they, didn't. they would never, they would never do that. Yeah. And one of the uh, lessons and the opinion I guess I have is that 
even people that you've known in your past can be awful people that do things where it might be hard for you to, to think that they would never like, how could they do that? But you better really fast get on yeah. board with what they did. Yeah. And like, because the past has nothing to do with it. Mm -mm. Like your view of them in the past has nothing to do with it. And that's what I think is crazy about this situation is he, all of this shit had been done in the past. They were like horrible their whole lives. Yeah. And Scientologists and hiding it with the church mm -hmm. and like a violent rape. And so, Two of them. and to, to be like, excuse me, judge, we just were hoping you could give him a lighter sentence. Like that is a crazy thing to do. And uh, I just think it's unfortunately, my opinion is, is I actually, I know that Ashton Kutcher isn't the greatest actor, but I grew up watching this dude. Mm -hmm. I grew up with him. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm in acting now and I love like Hollywood and the fun shit and pop culture and all of this. And so it just breaks my heart. But it's also like, it's not breaking it that hard because um, I've just haven't like, I think I just haven't been able to stop really thinking about these victims. I just don't, I don't care for people who have had that much success, any bad that comes to them. That's just the way I feel because it's like you, you did the bad thing. It's not like we need to feel sorry for you. And also you're never going to have like the true toughness of working a nine to five job, barely making your rent. You, you're going to be so settled the rest of your life. And if this, if the, the problem with that is, oh, I got canceled when I was 45. It's like, but you didn't yeah. until then. And you had 20 years of pure fame and you were probably rude to a lot more people. You probably did a lot more hurtful things that aren't out in the open. And I'm, and I'm with you. I am also in the camp that's like, well, I think wealth inequality is a real thing, obviously. And so there's so many, everything trickles down off that. But that I'm not in the, I'm not in the group that's kind of like, you've worked your ass, maybe you're not from money, you mm -hmm. know, like, and you've worked your ass off and you actually made it because you're talented or you've made it because you, you got a good look, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And you just, you made your money and you're smart about it. And we should just hate rich people because they're rich, right? Like it's, it's hard for me just to go to that camp, but I do really strongly believe in wealth inequality. And what I think happens when you become extremely famous and wealthy for so long, like you forget the inequality, you forget all, you forget a lot of things. Mm. And all of a sudden, before you know it, you're sending a letter to a judge trying to ask a judge to change their mind with an a friend of yours that raped women violently. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big gap. Yeah. And being able to like see maybe what's really important here. Victims of rape or the rapists. End of story. Mm -hmm. And if you think the rapist is more important for any reason, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs>